Hello, my wonderful, amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher. And today, we're going to get inspired by pets and animals. And there are a couple ways to go about this. You can either think about a pet in your life, maybe even in your own home, or you can use your imagination and think about what your dream pet would be. For example, now there's a lot of different ways of drawing dogs and cats and animals in the wrong or right way and the reason why i am good at drawing them is because i practiced a lot my drawings started out kind of simple with just the face like these pet portraits and i started observing the body and breaking that down into simple steps then i started taking pictures of animals and drawing from observation of pets like this is my cat norma so art is all about practice the secret to being good at drawing is to draw a lot as simple as that and everyone loves different styles of pet drawings everyone does it differently pete the cat looks different than garfield and they're both wonderful now drawing pets can be a little complicated so I have in this video I'm going to show you how to break our pet down into shapes because everything in the world is created with shapes and uh, Norma say hi to the kids hi kids <laughs> this is my kitty Norma Desmond now with this drawing video if you want you can pause and rewind and play forward Okay, so I'm starting the animal faces with this lid. I'm using a circle tracer to help me draw a face. But you can also use anything circular. This roll of tape works great too. Holding hand and my tracing hand, and I'm tracing round and around. I'm using an oil pastel, but you can use a pencil if you want to erase. And for my kitty cat, Kitty cats have triangle ears and a triangle nose and the pointy parts pointed down. Then we have line, line, line. Kind of a football shaped eye, football shaped eye. And cats have those pupils that are very thin to help them see in the dark. Then I have whiskers. Whiskers, 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 whiskers. And ta-da, here's a little cat. Okay, dogs are similar to cats, but there's a little more variety in dogs. So here's one dog, starts the same way, but the dog's ears are a different shape. This dog is a pug, so he has ears pointing down, like kind of like the opposite of this. And then dogs have this kind of rectangle nose a lot of the time. And little eyes. Dogs usually have rounder eyes. And a dog, a pug dog usually has their tongue kind of hanging out all goofy like. And if you wanted, you could give them a little schnoot. Boop. Boop. That's a pug dog. Now that I have them all sketched out, there's a lot of different directions I can take this drawing. Kind of like a good starting point. I can color it in, I can paint it, or I can use, I can draw the bodies using my pencils. It's up to you. I kind of like seeing all of them together, but you can also just draw one big dog face if you want, or a cat face. I use my Art Kit Oil Pastels and the thing with oil pastels and wax is that they repel water. So when you have either watercolor pencils or if you have a watercolor palette, you can brush right over these colors. Oh, my watercolor pencils. And I know they're watercolor because I can read and I can look at the look for the paintbrush in gold on the side. 
Okay, so this is what the first step of using your watercolor pencils usually looks like is that you color in and I was oh, you color in and it's okay if you leave little white spaces in the coloring in. It could be a little scribble dibble. That's okay. Cuz we're going to use our water to brush over it. Then you're going to get your paintbrush. This is from the art kit, and then I have a, I keep my water for art in a spaghetti sauce jar that I recycled, because it has a lid. And you're going to get your paint a little wet, and then you're going to blend and mix all those colors together. And I'm moving around the eyes, because I think that the green isn't going to really blend into the rest of what I got here. You'll notice that that oil pastel is still shining through the watercolor that is called a resist oil and water don't really mix together they want to be separate or repel from each other and that's what's happening on our paper now i wanted to show you something with my color choices this these two dogs these are more like what i would call realistic colors and that's all fun but with art you can use your imagination and do kind of a fantasy color as i like to call it a fantasy color or a very imaginative color, like this purple cat right here. I've never seen a purple cat, but I think I would love a stuffed animal of a purple cat. And yeah, you can use your imagination. This one's actually inspired by an artist named Andy Warhol, who did amazing pictures of cats in lovely bright colors. I have fun making art inspired by pets, whether they're your pets, or someone in your family or your friends or just a pet you wish you had one day pets are a great way to practice your drawing skills and breaking things down into shapes and they can work with any supply paint crayon marker anything you got you can draw yourself a puppy or a kitty and people love getting pictures of puppies and kitties as gifts Bye, have fun making art.